today's interview session on your favorite TV station, Entrepreneurs Channel TV. As you all know, Entrepreneurs Channel TV is not just a television broadcasting service that caters to the needs of women entrepreneurs in West Africa. Here, we also train our women, we connect our women with angel investors, funders and donors, as well as link mentees to mentors. Now today, we have a female entrepreneur who is well established and very successful in her field. In person of Mrs. Adaramola Adejumoke Isafi Ade, please meet her. Good morning, my viewer. My name is Adaramola Adejumoke Isafi Ade, the CEO of Jumoke Clotting, the brother. Thanks. Is this branding business your first call as an entrepreneur? No. I was into Kampala making before. Okay. But due to Kampala is his name business, mm. so I have to cut up my momentum so that I can accelerate. Okay, so is it on a stop or on a pause? <laughs> I just pause Kampala. I'm still into it. <laughs> All right. Why did you decide to go into branding? Uh, I have passion for it. It's especially when I see people putting on different type of branding work. So I just developed that interest. I can do more than this. So. Okay. Why don't you tell us about all aspects of your business? Um, well, I make talk, polo, um, general branding, a brand, motto, a brand, laptop, a brand, wow. Phone cover. I'm into general branding. I sew. I'm into general sewing. I make Kampala. I make Jalamia. Hey. I make men's native wear. Wow. Office shirts. Then wow. suit. That's very impressive. You make yes. suits. Yeah. Oh my god, you're a star in the making. Like, <laughs> so Alright, do you have any formal training in this field? Yes. Alright, can you show us? I went to two trainings. One into customizing and branding, right. and the other one into sewing men's clothes. That's good. So, how did you get your initial working capital? Well, we're still looking up to people for capital. But thank God for my husband, who has been supporting. Uh -huh. I so wish. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what motivates you in this line of business as a branding person? Well, branding is a business that must stay in one place. It's complex. Okay. So you move from one to another. We have flock, flake. We have to cut it for making. Mm -hmm. We have print and cut. We have monogram. It's complex and every day we're still moving forward for research. Mm -hmm. I guess. How do you deal with difficult customers? Huh. Well, there's nothing we can do about it because we don't know which of the customer that is good or bad. Mm -hmm. Not until when they show the stuff they make. Yeah. We have some customers that will come and we bargain on price. But later after you finish working on their Stop. They will tell you, ah, please, the money is so. At times, I will give it to them, they will go with it, and they will never come up for my money. But now, I've learned my lesson. I still have some stuff in my house. Wow. If they didn't pay, I'll put it off to them. That's going to be like a loss now. What are the challenges you encounter in this field of business on a daily basis? Challenges, challenges. Well, we're still learning because we're challenged. The mm -hmm. reason we don't go forward. Okay. We have some people, that would, some customers, they will just call you, please, under two weeks, can you mail also a number of clothes? They will say, after a week, they will call you. It's a week, it's not two weeks. Wow. There are times which are, you took me a week. No, we want to use it also. And they will want to use it after that two weeks, so, but they prefer yeah. getting it before that. So you have to stress. Up. I've made more than 550 pieces under two weeks. Hey! God, they, wow. they will stress you. So, when I have work to do, I don't sleep. People are difficult. 
<laughs> Especially when it comes to clothing, things like sewing, branding, or what you want to do. The day my wasted their pocket. Mm. They'll call you. I'm coming tomorrow. <laughs> and you know, even if you are sleeping, ha, you have to wake up and go for your work. Okay. Um, have you gone for any entrepreneurial courses and where? No. Okay. So what is your favorite quotes and why? My favorite quote is, what can you tell us I'm not good? Hmm. All that good tells is not good. Wow, that's a strong one. I know I love that <laughs> saying for what? It's a tell us why. What? To me. Not everything you see outside there that is valuable. Mm. There is a lot of people, the way you see them, that is not the way they are. Mm. So, we still learn. So we yeah, still we still learn. Um, what will you say are your future plans for June Big Corporates? Mm. I'm praying to grow bigger, because especially on the branding aspect. Because each and every each and every day, we still seeing progress in branding. Because before, we just we, uh, branding is all, all, uh, all about painting. But now, I can tell you, it's complex. Wow. How do you source for your materials? You said you sew, you sew clothes earlier, right? So how do you source for these materials? Because I know you have lovely materials from what I've seen. Mm -hmm. I have customers of my material. I have in Lagos, I have in Naba. Okay. Yeah, I have a lot in Naba. They are hot places. Where yes. in Lagos precisely? Yaba. Okay. Yeah, my yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, like it from New Market in Naba. All right. That's amazing. Why don't you see yourself as a fashion designer? <laughs> what will you call yourself? Well, I'm into garment. Okay. Well, if I call it fashion designer, fashion designer cannot go into Hmm. Branding and t-shirt making. Hmm. So what really motivates me in this sewing stuff is this garment. So you rather refer to yourself as a garment maker. Yeah. Alright. That's refreshing to know. Um how do you come up with daily motivations? Like you know today you wake up and you're tired, you want to just go back to bed. How do you deal with situations like that? No, oh, I love what I'm doing. Okay. I don't get tired. Because at times, I have a machine in my home, even my bedroom. So if I wake up around 2, I'm <laughs> still working on it. So thank God, you still giving me that strength. Okay. Do you have workers? Yes. How do you pay them? Do you have two, two classes of workers. I have about two that is permanent. They come, they can come to get their money. Mm. Actually, they are female. Okay. Then half male, like three, four, they are on contract. Mm. I pay them as they come for work. Mm. How do you source? Um, how do you how do you have distributors? You know to help you market your products in other countries. Mm. Outside Nigeria, I have someone there. So anytime they are in need of my product, I need it to send it to them. Okay, what's the country? Yes. Right, that's a question. Where in USA specifically? Texas. Texas, okay. So if you're in Texas and you want some of our products, you know you can get them. How do you juggle business and family life together? Mm, what? To the glory of God. The husband, my husband is there for me. <laughs> that. That's a very good one. And not everybody is blessed with that. Um, do you have an advice for upcoming entrepreneurs? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so what do you think? Because what is what an advice for them? Anything you're doing, just keep to it. Don't jog into another person's business. One day, the that business that everybody wants to mm. um, give you something. Wow. Thank you. So being distinct is very refreshing because at the end of the day, a lot of people are going this way, a lot of people are going that way. When you stand alone, there's a difference already. Okay, how profitable is this line of business? <laughs> oh, I say yes. You're laughing. <laughs> that laughter is already... No, I say yes. Okay, very profitable. Oh, thank God. How do you get your customers? Mm. I go on social media. Because there is a lot of customers that today 
we have not seen each other. Yeah. But then we just wow. call. Hello, Jovi. Because everyone knows me as mascot. Hello, mascot. Yeah, please. We need also so number of clothes. Can you send the money to my account? <laughs> what they send? Money goes like this. That is it. So once I hear money, see all the very my body will start. So yeah. I have to next day start go for the material they love. Okay, you know, you can send it to them. What are your hobbies? <laughs> huh? They are getting to sports. Hmm. What type of sports? Well, I love, let's say, three or four sports. Hmm. Football, or not. Wow, wow, that's surprising because <laughs> there are very few ladies like that. Oh, we have, we have a lot. Hmm. Okay, so well, what else? Table tennis. Hmm. Volleyball. Wow. Okay, when did you start playing football, volleyball and table tennis? In the oh. Football and table tennis. That one, I think, I don't know, maybe I came to this world with that skills. I don't know. Because at age 6, 7, I've been playing in my street. Wow. And the same as football, or it was a different realization? Mm -hmm. um, football. After getting to some stage in life, you know, mm -hmm. so when it's time for me to join a club, so the club called me to wow. join them. So from there, we have that interest in football and we develop all we know. So we have to replant this kid that's been there before. Yeah, you made this professional. Right. That's, that's good. Um, you earlier told us that you're a coach. So how many schools are you working with now as a coach? Well, I have just two schools. Yeah. I work with Glory Academy mm -hmm. along Ojo Road. Mm -hmm. Then I work with as female coach at Kings International. Mm -hmm. Alright. And it's very how you describe your feeling as coaching other female oh. lovers of sports. Like how would you describe it? I love the news. And especially when you say young girl creating an interest from there so you need to develop interest by doing when they see you doing it they will get more interest on it so i do play with them i do a lot of things with them Maybe so from there sure. they develop interest so why didn't you take footballing as a career football after I took it as career. Wow. I played a lot. When was that? Nigeria. In Nigeria? Within Nigeria, I played a lot. Okay. Playing some leagues in Nigeria. Oh. Even the Super 4. I had the best female league. Mm. Or female tournament in Nigeria. That's the best. Out. Not, yeah. <laughs> not all female play that. Seriously. Yeah. Even most of um, national team players. Yeah. Not all female play Super 4. I played. Oh. So. It's one of, but I have to move on because I'm a female. Yeah. So yeah. getting, when going on marriage stuff is enough, so I have to. But well, do you I still see. play at your leisure? Yes, I do okay. last Saturdays. Is it, where do you see um, female football in Nigeria in the next five years? Hmm. We pray, of course, we are still praying to go to the <laughs> next level of that. Because now, you can. Take a look at our faculty. They're still serving their father and credit. <laughs> so we're still praying to God to yeah. bring out some of the female that went through what they're going through now so that we can move forward. Yeah. All right, man. Thank you. At the end of the day, you get discouraged, but then your passion just makes you keep on doing yeah. it. Yes. All right, what's your take on women and empowerment in general? Well, you know, 80% of women depends on their husband. Yeah. Even those that still have work, they have something to <laughs> For me, it's like it's just we still rely on her on her husband. Mm. But what really pains me is when are we going to wake up? Mm. Get something doing. You are the only one that can stand firm. Not until someone 
push you to do so. Yeah. So once we see someone, if all the women are in power, or get something doing, so the family will stand well. Even we can stand on our own and say something else. Yeah. So I'm still begging all the women, let's find something to do. Let's stand up and fight yes. for our own stand. <laughs> let's be empowered. When women are empowered, the society will be better at the end of the day. Okay, it was so nice getting to know you. Thank you for honoring our visit. I enjoyed every minute and every second of this interview. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you for having me. So here are a lot of our products, as you can see. This is one of them. This is very lovely looking. How much would you sell this? Uh, this goes for, let's say, 2500 Wow, it's affordable. How did you go with this design? Uh, we have a lot of design. You know, when you're to customize it, you just it to come naturally. Exactly. This is another lovely one. Was it say school? Um, yeah. Okay, I just because I said name. So that is my ex secondary school. Okay. I mean, yeah. Wow. Wow. You saw so this. Yeah. This is Jalabi. Wow. It's for you, Mister. This material is so lovely. So, take off. So, so you also sold for male or female? How much is it? This one is just six thousand. <laughs> just six thousand. I need guys have money, so it's not much. It's not much, <laughs> and it's worth it because when you feel it, you know that you're buying quality. Wow, this is lovely. Three and C. This is this material is. Lacoste. Lacoste. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is Lacoste. It's red meat material. Yeah, so, it, it, it looks very... So, and it's branded with flock. You yeah. can see. We use flock to, yeah. uh, to put it in. Wow. But, and the so, where did you get this material? This material, can get it in the bottle. Can get it in the gloss. Even this flock? Yes. Wow. It's the same material with the red color. Yeah. Call it everlasting material. Everlasting. Ice. 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 This is the like the normal t-shirt materials that a lot of people use. This is also you can see this materials are lovely. She's very good at what she does. Like, very shirt. successful. The best shirt wow. for your for for office is also what so where did you get this piece. material from? I've got it in gates, yeah. Wow, the gates there. What stage? Yeah, Ibana here. Wow. So, it looks very real. Please come on. Yeah, you you oh, all are ready to get this because it looks very real. You don't even have to be complaining. There's some tailors that will not get to one side. <laughs> we'll get to one side. So this is for guys. Perfect. Wow, this is a guy's outfit. You can see. This for guys. Wow, this is lovely. Well, some ladies also go for come for it. So yeah, nowadays <laughs> and a lot of crazy fashion. Wow, this is so this. And this, oh my goodness. Wow. For you, for you guys, I love t shirt, gowns, and everything. Very simple. Just get a pair of sneakers and you're good to go. <laughs> Very nice. I love the color combination. How much is it? 6,000, 7,000. Affordable. I know you guys have money, so. <laughs> Alright, this is. This is for orange. Oh, it's super cute. So oh. lovely. Yeah. A day affair. Oh, let me see. She's so diverse. You can get different things. Anything you want. But this is a boutique. Don't give us what you get. This is a boutique you get. So you can just come here and get all your clothes and everything. Don't need to stress yourself going to the market and all this. Wow, this is like such a something. Wow. This is so lovely. I like the color and combination. How much do you sell this? Five thousand. So how how much do you sell your kids? This one. <laughs> yeah, so you just wearing sneakers for your baby. Again, good to go. Good to go. This is skin I'm saying. Grace, skin to my This is fine. Okay, please share your location and your contacts with us. What? Uh, sure. So it's at Ring Road, Nevada. Okay. Ajay Bay. You can see on there. Or you can contact us on this number. Our WhatsApp number is 